Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve the systems of equation using elimination. And automatically, I can probably assume that you're looking at this. You can say fractions. This has to be the toughest one um, out there. But it doesn't have to be. And to kind of make it look, look like any other regular equation, right? I remember when I was like playing football, like, you know, you, you're playing against a different team that you think is better or worse than you. It's like, you know, you all put your pants on the same way, right? Um, so I don't know where that came from. But what I was just saying is, you know, this looks very complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Let's just get rid of the fractions. So to do that, multiply by the LCD. Everything by the LCD. Well, the LCD is 3, 4, and 1 is just going to be 12. So I'm going to multiply every single equation or every single expression by 12. So therefore, I have 12 times x plus 3 over 4 plus 12 times y minus 1 divided by 3 equals 12 times 1. Right? You apply distributive property to an equation. Because you have to make sure you multiply every single term in that equation, or you won't have equivalent equations. So we'll work on this first, and then I'll bring this back down. Right? Can't forget about that guy. Um, so therefore, when I'm solving this, I can multiply this through. Or I can just say, well, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Now I can distribute the 3. That reduces to 4. Now I can distribute to 4. And that obviously becomes 12. Now I have an equation of 3x plus 3 plus 4y minus 4 equals 12. Well, I can combine. Ah, 3x plus 9. I knew I made a mistake. 3x plus 9. Now I can combine these. So I have an equation of 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals 12. Subtract the 5, subtract the 5. 3x plus 4y equals 7, right? Now, let's go ahead and bring this equation back over here, which is 2x minus y equals 12. Whew, OK. So let's kind of erase all of this. You can go back and pause if you need. So now we have a systems of equation that looks like this. I know from the start, everything looked crazy. But I don't think you can imagine, like, by just getting rid of the fractions, now we're working with an equation that looks like this, which is not that difficult, right? So now we need to get our coefficients, make sure our variables are aligned vertically, which they are. Then make sure our coefficients are the same. Now here, to get these coefficients the same, I have to multiply by a multiplier on the top equation and the bottom equation. However, for, for y, all I need to do is multiply my bottom equation by 4. So when I do that, I am now going to produce a new equation, a new system equation of 3x plus 4y equals 7 and 8x minus 4y equals um, so 4, 4, 4. So 24 would be 48. Now, to get these together, I will add the two equations. And I get 11x, that goes to 0, equals 55. Divide by 11, x equals 5. OK, cool. So now I've determined what x equals 5 is. Now I need to determine what y is. So all I simply need to do is go back to one of my original equations and um, solve for y. So I can go back to my original equation, which was 3x. I wrote over there. Oh, I'm sorry. 2x minus y equals 12. Well, now we know the value of x. So just plug 5 in for x and then solve for y. 2 times 5 is equal to 10 minus y equals 12. I'll add the y to both sides. 10 equals y plus 12. Subtract the 12, subtract the 12 y equals negative 2. So therefore, my solution set is going to be 5 comma negative 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system of equations when you have some fractions using elimination. Thanks.